And welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're going to teach you how to fly your keyboard and mouse much better. Subscribe, like, and come visit letsflyvfr.com. Yeah, so better mouse yoke. Discovered this one just recently. And I thought for all those many people out there that still fly without a joystick and use their mouse and uh, keyboard, that you would love this because this just makes the world, contrary to what I'm doing right now, uh, a lot simpler for sure. It, this actually gets rid of the whole um, little box that you've got to try and fly in and everything. You can see if you can see the mouse moving around, doesn't matter where you're looking, you can still control the aircraft. So how does this work? Well, this is a little plug-in firstly that you can download from explain.org and uh, you seem to install it there's a couple of little things you do need to do a little control file and uh, but that's all explained if you need any help with that just put it in the um, comments below and i've got a little bit of video i can probably put together and help you with the install but the crucial thing is here it's your mouse does all the controlling and it moves the the yoke for you so as you pull it back goes pulls the, the yoke back and you climb you push it forward goes down right and left as you would expect if you push the left mouse button down then you can control the rudders while you're on the ground and you can taxi around so use your f1 and f2 for your power just as a start and then you can use this so you can see it's not as jittery it's a lot smoother to uh to fly this way and i really highly recommend it if you're still flying out there with the mouse and keyboard then uh this is this is where you need to go you need one you need this really soon <laughs> and it'll make your life easier you can turn it on and off uh, you set up a button uh, i have one on my keyboard one on uh, on the joystick still and uh, you just push the button you can turn it off then you can go and grab stuff around the cockpit uh, control your MFDs and anything else that you need drag your flaps down if you haven't got a key command for it and uh, and then quickly push the button again and get back to flying your Cessna so this is a great little bit of uh, scenery this is uh, Catalina Island C uh, K A V X nice here now I've got this set up with a little bit of a crosswind so it's not just a straightforward boring landing and uh, we're going to try and get it down here again if we can so just you can see if you can see the mouse it might be a little bit hard especially after youtube's compressed everything but um, you can see it whipping around the screen a little bit but because you've got such a broad range of movement it makes it a lot lot easier to do and it's not as sensitive um, and this is only one of my like my second flights with it guys so i thought you'd give you a bit of a laugh Hey, anything you land and walk away from is good. Let's see if we can stop before we get to the building. Brakes, brakes. There we go. Now we can we can head out and have a coffee now after that one. We might need a break. So pretty simple. So let's have another try another landing. Coming in again this time, so you can if you, hopefully you can see the mouse. So probably you should have used a larger cursor. So it's just central on the screen right and left and you can move it quite a ways to get still fine control of the yoke as you're coming in just pulling back a little bit too much there settling down a little bit of right landing pretty long this is not great oh well that's probably not a great score smoke a hole on the runway never mind again this is only my first couple of little flights with it so i thought as you see, everybody is always perfect when they do these instructional videos. Um, most of the time, they've had a lot of practice, haven't they? We all know that, but we just don't see it. So here we go, taxing it. Now, you can see the two little green lights. Whenever I hold the button down, uh, just above the yoke there, um, just two little green lines, and as you move, hold the mouse down, push right and left, and you can control the rudders. Even when you're looking from outside, if you look carefully, you can see two little green lines there on the screen. And uh, that's what I'm using to control the rudders and the nose wheel steering in this case. 
Now, if you have an aircraft that has no steering and you've got to do your brakes, well, you'll have to work out left and right brakes so you can do that and set that up on the keyboard. So let's get straight. Now, if you're looking for a keyboard commands, just go Google it. X-Plane 11 Key Commands. Keyboard Controls. Something like that. And there are a number of them out there and you can download one and that'll help you with your flying. So let's get the power. So F1, F2 again is power. Um, you can manually drag that flap down, but I'm going to leave it up for now. Hit the button and let's give it another go. Power on, nice and smooth. Got the rudders happening there, just see the little green lines. And you've got to keep putting a little right rudder. I've got wind coming from the left there of about 10 knots. So it's pretty stiff on the wind front, you know, so we've got it keeping it pretty straight. It's one of my best efforts, keeping it straight. And out we go. And I see those um, wind socks hanging there, so you mustn't must be on uh, very low wind at this point. So we're going to fly out. Let's have a little bit of fun with it. Let's see how much you can do when it is uh, just controlled by mouse and keyboard. And climb out. I believe this uh, island is about 20 something miles off the coast of the United States. Uh, I saw this on a video from uh, Aviation 101. Great little channel, if you'll, <laughs> a great big channel actually. Josh Flowers is the gentleman who runs that. Um, great, great adventures flying around in his Cessna as a CFI. Great, you can learn lots from him. So let's pull back and up we go. Full left aileron. Not sure that you're supposed to do this in a 172, but around we go. Didn't like it too much, did it? Still to get some speed up, pulling back, and we didn't tear the wings off it, so that's pretty good. So you can, uh, you know, you can have a bit of fun with it as well, guys. So let's go left, we'll come around, and see if we can't land this uh, this baby back on the runway. Again, it is better mouse yoke, guys. Just go search it on Google. Better mouse yoke. It's uh, created by Richard Bergvist. Um, great job mate, you've done an excellent job creating this. And look at the shine on the water down there, pretty nice. As we come around we'll head back towards the, uh, the airport, which is around a little bit to the left. Get a bit of speed up. Do you know that music? Yes, I know. I'm sure plenty of you picked out what it was. You would have known what was happening in the background. Here we go, up we go. Climb, climb. Roll it over. So, and down we go again. Well, that was pretty slow. Well and truly stalled. So, you know, you, there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. It is pretty good. And as you get to, as you do a few flights with it, it becomes a lot more natural really quickly to uh, to fly. And I tell you, it's a lot easier than uh, holding the yoke with the mouse button down, which is the way um, most of us that have tried this before have done it. So, yeah, a lot better. So let's get up. The run is at uh, 1,800 feet. I'd like to be up about 2,800 feet in the circuit. And we'll fly around and we'll bring this uh, aircraft back in and give it another go. I've broken the artificial horizon. Terrible. That's what doing some arrows in 172 does. But it is a lot of fun, isn't it? <laughs> okay, we're all lined up. Let's try and keep it gentle. Now you can still zoom in and out like that with your, your mouse. So it's up to you. I'll keep it fairly broad so there's a lot more for you to see. I'm still a little bit quick. I would have liked to have been a little bit closer to the 70 knots, but I'm more towards 80 as we head in. Little left, little right, little left. Got to come in over those trees, make sure we don't hit them. 
So how are you guys all going out there with the new Microsoft Flight Simulator? I'd love to hear your experiences. What are you thinking of the flight dynamics, which is the big one for me? Um, I know it looks beautiful graphically. Nah, that's no good. We're still a little bit high. Let's go out. We'll do a, go out to the right, loop around and come back the other way, being that the wind's very, very light. Let's head around and we'll give it another go, eh? You can always go around, guys, even in a sim. Always go around. Okay, here we go again. Coming back from the water side. Uh, here you do, you can see the red and white Parsi lights. So we're on, on glide slope on the three degrees. Power is back and the speed is also a lot better this time. We're back towards 60, which is probably a little slow, but we'll, uh, we'll make it happen, eh? Just gentle, you can just see the mouse as I'm keeping the uh, the controls. That letting it get away. This is looking pretty good. Here we come in over the top of the trees. Looking pretty nice, isn't it? Nice work, if I do say so myself. Center line is your friend. Try and keep on the center line. Brakes all looking pretty good. Left button down. Get the steering and let's taxi in. So here at uh, Catalina Island Airport, KAVX, looking for somewhere a little bit different to fly. Come and try this. And turn the wind up. Turn up the uh, the turbulence a little bit and see how you go trying to land here. It's a bit of a challenge for sure. And we'll taxi into the terminal. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it is really a great little plug-in. I was really happy when I found it. And I thought all oh, you guys out there. Because I think the best or most popular video I have. Is how to fly keyboard and mouse. There's something like 65,000 people have watched it at this point. So um, I thought well this is certainly a compliment to that. And will help you guys enjoy your flying a great deal more. Uh, once you get this little plugin installed, I'll leave your link down in the description below. Uh, I'll try and give you a link to go and find it. If not, certainly just go Google it. Um, you'll find it very quickly. So you want better mouse yoke. It's 1.14, I think, is the release currently. And there we go. As we've had a great little bit of flying, and Catalina got some practice with the. Uh, a better mouse yoke and I hope you guys enjoy that again if you need any help with the install you get lost with it let me know I'll stick together a little video for you to show you how to go about installing if you need it just leave me a comment and I'll see you back here at Let's Fly VFR again next time subscribe like and as always come visit Let's Fly VFR love to see you there catch you soon bye bye